Anyway, moving on, Ricky Starks versus Juice Robinson. And Juice, another he's working hard. And he's he's got, as you said, that shaggy Muppet-like look. He's a different kind of cat. He's never won a match yet, right, on television. So, again, he's another guy that comes in and debuts in the company, and they proceed to then violate 120 years of tradition by both using him in a spot and putting him on television to lose time after time before he ever wins a match. This is the only company I think that has ever happened on a consistent basis in the history of wrestling, is it? Can you think of any other time that would have happened? Tony has very odd ideas about how to get people over or make people care about matches. I don't agree with him. Uh, well, anyway, they had a you know a good match, but then they go to the floor and Juice spends time putting the stairs in the right place, but then Starks reverses it and gives him a full body slam while standing on the stairs, off the stairs, onto the floor. But that's their break spot. <laughs> Most of the match, it felt like, was on the floor. Um, well, again, it's AEW, isn't it? They spend uh, all the time either fighting on the floor, which everybody else does, and then you also, unless it's a heated grudge match, the likes of which you don't see much anymore, then you hinder your live reaction because a lot of people are either watching the screen to see you or can't see you to begin with because you're on the floor doing the same shit everybody else does. And then... Whatever the finish is going to be um, is not going to look as good as half of the bumps that they took during the match because a full slam off the stairs to the floor, so that's about eight feet. Um, that probably hurt worse than Starks hitting his finish, which is what he ended up winning with. But it's a modern match, and that's what they do. And again, we talked about missed opportunities. Starks was red hot a few months back. Yeah. He isn't anymore. They did a thing on TV. It must have been at least a month ago now. Juice Robinson shows up out of nowhere and attacks him. There hasn't really been much follow-up on that. There have been a couple of promos, and now he's at ringside for Jay White's debuting AEW matches. Well, but they, they, they brought it back here because as soon as Starks beat Juice to prove that Juice is just a flunky and is not going to win any of the big ones because he's losing everything when you first see him, but then Jay White came from behind. They must have a tunnel under the ring. Because they're getting in from the backside real quick these days. And he fucking jumps on Starks and starts beating Starks up. And then Starks comes out from under that. And the heels just ran off. And I wrote, Jesus Christ. Because... <laughs> so the, the new guys never, never win anything. But sometimes they can beat up the baby face. But when you think about it, the last three or four times we've seen Starks, he's been left face down in a puddle of his own piss. So it was time he did something. But the, these heels ain't much threat, really, are they? I miss yeah. singles. I just miss no factions and no associations. You know, everyone now is tied in with other people. And I see someone like Juice Robinson, and I almost feel like it hurts him because he doesn't stand out as much when you just have him with other people. Again, he's just got there. We don't know what he's going to really bring to the table. I haven't watched a lot of his New Japan stuff. Well, he's not going to bring anything because people already think he's a job guy because he gets beat every time he... You know, that's Now, probably in about six months, he'll win a match, but by then it's too late. It'll be in Japan when he wins that match, but anyway. And by the, it, it, again, in territory wrestling, it was very simple. Heels helped heels, and baby faces saved baby faces. So it did. You didn't have to have alliances or factions or groups or whatever. If the fucking heel in the main event was the champion and he needed somebody to help him, well, a couple of the other heels had come out because they share the same locker room, and they come out to the arena on the same side of the fucking entrance way. So they're friends. We know that. And the heels would come out and help in the baby faces, even if they weren't tag team partners. Even if they were job the, guys. Even if they were job guys. If you're in a baby face locker room, that's the locker room you 
share with these other guys, your friends, you come out and help baby faces. And that's the way it were. And everybody automatically accepted that because there was no deviation from that pattern. 